dear students in this video lecture we are going to see about the philosphere first going into the points related to philosphere we need to understand why the study of philosphere is important philosphere study helps in understanding the survival of plant disease causing bacteria and fungi there on the leaf surface secondly recently there was a very high rise there in the food poisoning that may be associated there with the presence of certain pathogenic organism such as salmonella entrica and some toxicogenic e coli strains that have been contaminated there in the fruits and vegetables the research showed that they may be having a origin there from the philosphere source itself the term philosphere was coined by ruinen the year 1956 it refers to the micro environment extending from the leaf surface outward to the outer edge of the boundary layer surrounding the leaf and inward into the leaf tissues so if something present there inside the leaf tissue or in the surface of the leaf they are refers to the philosphere microflora natural openings that have been present there in the leaf tissue consists of stomata and hydathodes allow ready passage of microorganism between the external and the internal domains of the philosphere if you look at the microflora functionally they includes plant pathogens animal pathogens and pathogens of insects ice nucleation active bacteria microorganism that produce active phytohormone a classical example is the methylobacterium that produces cytokine enzyme allergen producing microorganism toxin and aromatic compounds degrading micro microorganisms and antagonistic for the plant pathogen that is that can able to kill the plant pathogen they are referred as a antagonistic population now we look at into the details of the microbial flora that have been present there in the leaf surface that is in the philosphere region alpha and gamma proteobacteria are generally the dominant bacterial inhabitants there in the philosphere apart from that bacteriaites are present then beta proteobacterial member firmicutes can also form into a larger part of the philosphere bacterial community sometime acidobacteria actinobacteria and cyanobacteria were also occurring there in the leaf system some commonly seen genera of bacteria in the philosphere are clavibacter ervinia pseudomonas methylobacterium as we already seen a cytokinin producing organism then xanthomonas and sphingomonas the diversity of culturable yeast appear to be mostly limited to the genera of cryptococcus sporobolomyces and rhodotorula next we look at into the important fungal population that have been come across there in the philosphere fungi present there in the philosphere regions are mainly plant pathogenic group of organism that can able to cause diseases such as rust mildew sooty mold and leaf spots say cladosporium and alternaria are some of the leaf spot causing fungi that can be present there in the philosphere apart from that fungi belong to the genera penicillium acrimonium mucor and aspergillus were also present there in the leaf surface the next one is a deleterious effect of microorganism that have been caused there in the philosphere this is concerned with the microbe acting as a catalyst for the freezing of super cooled water the classical example here is a epiphytic bacteria belong to the genus pseudomonas they found to produce cell membrane bound proteins with a crystalline structure mimicking as that of the ice crystals so when a pseudomonas has been added that to a super cooled water it can able to create the ice crystal formation or it acts as a nucleation center to freeze the super cooled water into ice crystals you can just watch this video this video contains a bottle containing super cooled water to that water now they are adding the pseudomonas culture to them okay so after addition of the pseudomonas culture they are mixing that culture with the super cold water then we can see how this super cold water is going to be converted as a ice crystals due to the ice nucleation activity of the pseudomonas see within a few seconds it has been converted there into ice crystals so this is a way in which the ice nucleus structure of the bacteria mainly the pseudomonas catalyze the freezing of super cooled water at a temperature 
of minus 2 degree centigrade. Most of the strains of ice nucleation active bacteria were found in nature active at a temperature colder than minus 4 degree centigrade. The epiphytic ice nucleation active bacteria are considered to be the most abundant and ubiquitous form of naturally occurring ice nuclei bacteria there in the plant systems. These bacteria play a role there in the frost damage that have been caused in the leaves of herbaceous plants as well as flowering plants. So, this is a frost damage that have been resulted due to a epiphytic ice nucleating bacteria like Pseudomonas. The point further is how this ice nucleation activity can be prevented. As we already know that Pseudomonas is a ubiquitously present bacteria, epiphytic bacteria present in the phyllosphere which can able to cause ice nucleation. That is its cell membrane has certain protein that does serve as a ice nucleation center which can able to create a super cooled water into freezed ice crystals. They even sometimes allow ice crystals to form under a warm temperature. Then how this could be prevented? This can be prevented by spraying the leaf surface with the ice nucleation minus mutants of the bacteria. That is those bacteria that lacks the cell membrane protein that can able to serve as a ice nucleation center. So, ice minus mutant that is ice nucleation minus mutant strains need to be multiplied and sprayed on the surface of the leaves that can able to prevent the frost damage that have been caused there in the leaves. Already we have discussed some points related to methylobacterium which is a leaf epiphytic bacteria it's a phytosymbion that lives there in association with the phyllosphere environment. This methylobacterium has been present there ubiquitously in most of the plants. So, the benefits of the methylobacterium can be well harnessed by using this particular bacteria as a biofertilizer for the crop plants. So, this is a report that have been published there in the Hindu which says that how a biofertilizer made with the help of methylobacterium. It is also referred as a pink pigmented facultative methylotrops mainly due to the presence of pig pigments there in the colonies when they are growing there in the agar surface. So, this methylobacterium has been identified from the leaf surface and it has been mass multiplied. So, in the right side can is the one which shows the mass multiplied liquid biofertilizer of the methylobacterium and then again it is sprayed on the rice crops that have been grown in the Kaveri delta region. So, this particular methylobacterium can able to make the plant withstand towards the, the drought stress that have been caused during the crop harvest of the rice plants. Finally, we look at the functions of the phyllosphere microorganism. Phyllosphere microorganism consists of beneficial organism as well as the pathogenic organism. Pathogenic microbes include those that are pathogen for the plant system which we have already seen. Some leaf spot and leaf rust causing organism could be present there in the phyllosphere and some human pathogenic organism like first we have discussed certain E. coli strains and salmonella may be present there in the phyllosphere and they get internalized there in the leaf. When the particular leaf has been consumed or the plant part has been consumed they can able to cause the ill effects. The next one is the microbes that have been present there in the leaf surface can able to involve there in the nitrogen cycling or they can able to fix nitrogen. Those groups of nitrogen fixing organism present in the leaf are referred as a diazotrops that is that can able to use nitrogen and convert them into ammonia. So, this nitrogen fixing organisms fixed nitrogen can be made available there further for the plant system. So, this is a beneficial property apart from that they can able to produce a lot of volatile compounds which we have already seen. These volatile compounds are playing a lot of role there in the plant growth promotion. Further the Organism present in the phyllosphere can able to cause the biocontrol activity mainly by inducing the systemic resistance that is induced systemic resistance and systemically acquired resistance there on the leaf system. Thereby they can able to protect again the pathogenic organism entry there into the plant system. Some microbes present there in the leaf surface has the ability to produce phytohormone which we have already discussed that is the methylobacterium has the ability to produce the phytohormone cytokinin. The cytokinin will have a lot of function there in the cell enlargement in the plant system.